everybody. Welcome back to my modern homestead. I'm Janet. Behind the camera is Alyssa and Jake is also back there with the dogs. Today I'm so excited. I am going to join with a bunch of other YouTubers and do a collaboration video and this is Pumpkin Palooza 2022 hosted by Andrea at Digging for Health. I have fallen in love with her channel. I have found some other channels that I really love. And so I hope that as you're looking at this, when we're done, that you'll go check out their channels too because there's some great channels. But what I'm doing today, since this is Pumpkin Palooza, everybody's doing pumpkin recipes. Today I'm gonna to try something I've never done before. So let's hope it works. I'm going to try to make pumpkin fritters. And when I went to the store, I love to use butternut squash because if you don't know, which most people do, when you buy that can of pumpkin, it's usually not pumpkin at all. It's usually a winter squash. Now, the winter squash I normally use is butternut squash, but I wanted it to be different and special today. We do have this pumpkin here I've never used before and a Mother Hubbard squash. Now, I've always wanted to try using this one. So what we're going to do is do the fritters with the Mother Hubbard squash, and then I'm going to try to do some pumpkin fries. That's kind of cheating. It's not really fries because it's actually just roasted pumpkin, but I do the same thing with my butternut squash. I just slice it into thin pieces and sweat it and then roast it, but we'll get to that in a minute. The first thing we need to do is to take this and cut it, and then we're going to grate the inside. After we get out all the seeds, we're going to grate it into two cups. I have my little bitty recipe. I've been working on this recipe for a couple days. So I'm gonna do that, and we're also going to have some onion and some spices and some flour and a little bit of cheese in there, and then we're gonna fry it up. So are you ready to get going? Let's go. Okay, these are the ingredients that we're going to measure out to add to our pumpkin fritters. One fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. I don't have that much. And I just realized I don't even have any in my um, overstock pantry. So I've got to go to the store and get more. I probably have a tablespoon or a little more, but you can use up to a fourth of a uh, cup. Then we're, gro we're going to use some sea salt. A little bit of cayenne pepper. If you would prefer, you can use red pepper flakes. We're going to add a little parsley and a little bit of chili powder. And I'll show you those exact measurements when we get to that. But before we do that, we're going to fry up some bacon to crumble. So join me over here at the stove. All right, we're just going to fry this in the cast iron skillet. If you would like to do it in the oven or some other way, that's fine. Just make sure you get it good and crisp. Oh, look at there. 
That looks like two pieces stuck together. Oh well. I was about to say, you know what? It's just going to have to stay stuck together. But it's a really thin piece. We're just going to leave it. <coughs> okay, for this, I would only use four to six slices. But of course, if you like more, go right ahead. You can do more. I just don't think my arteries can take it anymore. And let's go ahead and put all this out. There's our flour. Then I'm just going to dump in the rest of this Parmesan cheese. So this is maybe one, maybe two tablespoons. And you can use any kind of Parmesan cheese you like. That's just what I have. I have the onion already chopped up. There's our egg. We're not ready to add it yet. Then we're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using sea salt, mineral salt, Himalayan salt are great choices. There's the salt. Then we're going to do a little bit of cayenne pepper. We don't want these hot, just a little bit of flavor. Maybe an eighth, a little less than an eighth of a teaspoon. And we're going to use some parsley flakes. You can use half a tablespoon up to a whole tablespoon. I've got a little over a half. And I don't know about this chili powder. I like to add this stuff like this after I've already mixed it up, but we're just going to say about a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to start with a half. I can add more, but I can't take it out. Okay. Now there's that all measured out, so we're ready to go. All righty. Y'all ready to get these ingredients in the bowl? I'm just going to get some of this extra pumpkin off of this um, not strainer, this grater. All right. This is our pumpkin and onion. I'm in the kitchen. She's usually right up under me. I have to be careful. And she's not one that lays around waiting for crumbs to drop. She just wants to be near somebody. Alrighty. There are our ingredients that we just measured out. Right on top of there. Listen, can you pick that up and show everybody what I've got going in the bowl? Now I'm just taking this bacon. It's still warm. I'm just tearing it into little pieces and putting it right in there. Okay. I made a call on my own recipe. I am going to add a couple tablespoons of cornmeal. That was about an eighth of a cup. Okay, so to our mixture, let's add the egg. And we're going to add just a little bit. I wouldn't normally measure it out, but for the sake of the video, let's do it. All right, there's two tablespoons of the milk. Let's mix it together. Let's see what we have. Keep it in the bowl though. Okay, 
am going to add just a little bit more milk, not measuring it. I don't know that that was even a whole tablespoon. I just want it to hold together well. That's all I'm going for. Okay, while I'm mixing this up, I just want to tell you that you can make this as healthy as you want. You can use fresh ingredients. Just make it yours. Um, and if you will look down in the description box below, you will see a playlist for all the pumpkin palooza recipes. You guys, there are some great recipes and some great videos um, from some great people I've met in several different places on YouTube, including here on Pumpkin Palooza. So make sure you check that out. All right, I think I've got this mixed up. Now remember I said you can make this as healthy as you wanted to? Well, I would like to fry this in olive oil, but I have my grease still on the stove from the bacon. I'm going to drain that a little bit, and we're actually going to cook it in that grease. If I need a little bit more, I'll drizzle in a little olive oil. So, let's get this going. Okay, I just had these divided out. Let's drop them in. And I got poor happy when I poured out my bacon grease and poured out too much, so I've added a little bit of olive oil. You know what? It sounded like it was ready, but I don't think it is. While I'm waiting on that grease to finish heating, I'm just going to start peeling the rest of this. I had planned to use my other pumpkin, but if I've got this much pumpkin left, I don't want to waste it. So we're just going to use this to make our pumpkin fries. All right. I think we're hot enough now. Just spread them thin. That way they don't burn on the outside before they cook on the inside. And just cook them three or four at a time. Millie says they're gonna be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty. Last one. Get them off right. Yeah. Okie doke, we have our pumpkin fritters done. Y'all want to try them? Let's see. I'm kind of scared. This is new for me. Hmm. Y'all. Yeah. Those are so good. I would do that happy dance. But Alyssa would roll her eyes and groan again, like she did in the last video. Now these are so good. I'm so excited. But before we can eat these, I want to do our pumpkin fries. We're going to pair these with some salmon that we're going to bake in the oven. And I'm going to finish cutting up this Mother Hubbard squash. Somehow. <laughs> this thing is so hard, y'all. I don't know if it wasn't right. I don't know if it's just the nature of this type of pumpkin or squash. It's probably just the way the squash is. Let me get my big knife. But what we want to do is just to cut them in slices. And then we're going to sprinkle them with salt and let them sweat. And what that means is you just let them sit. And when you put that salt on them, 
it's going to drain some of the juice off of them. And you just pour that off. You can rinse them and pat them dry and bake them. And when they start charring on the edge, they are going to be perfect. So let's just get them cut up real quick first. Oh, y'all, that was a job. It's easier once you get them in small pieces, but getting them to the small pieces is rough. So into our bowl we go. And I recommend that if you do this, you make sure you go ahead and have an appointment to get your nails done. And I recommend a burnt orange because your fingernails are already going to be orange. Let's sprinkle these with a little bit of salt. And we're going to toss them together. And we're just going to let them sit here for about 30 minutes. Okay, Jake's been outside. He's been working on trees. He just walked in. I couldn't get Alyssa's true reaction, which I wish I could have gotten it on camera. She loved these. Okay, Jake, grab this little piece here and taste it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alyssa's like, Mama, this is what, Alyssa? It's great. <laughs> she said it was really good. It tastes like cornbread. It does a little bit like cornbread, but it, you can taste that bacon and onion in there and a little bit of the sweetness of the pumpkin. Not much, just a kiss of sweetness. You can barely distinguish it. Oh, so good. Okay, Alyssa, can you see the liquid on those? So that's what happens when you leave them with salt on them. Now I didn't put a lot of salt on here, so what I'm going to do is just kind of pat them dry. I'm gonna take them out and just lay them out on a sheet in a single layer, and then we're going to season. Okay, we have them all dry. I'm just going to sprinkle them with some paprika. I'm going to do just a touch of cayenne. Just a little sprinkle of sea salt. And then a little sprinkle of chili powder. We're just going to toss them around. And then they're ready for the oven. All right into the oven we go. The oven is preset to 425. And we will leave these until these start to char on the edges. Ooh, look guys. They are done. Fresh out of the oven. And they're too hot for me to try. So what I'm going to do is let the oven, um, not heat up, <laughs> cool down just a little bit. And then we're going to put our salmon in and get this all plated up. Can definitely recommend the Mother Hubbard squash so I hope you get to try it if you have to use canned pumpkin for your fritters go right ahead it's your recipe make it your own and you guys thank you so much for joining me don't forget to look below in the description box for the um, list of all the other pumpkin palooza um, videos remember there are some great ones out there I can't wait to try some of them so until we meet again, you guys, may you be blessed and you be a blessing to others. I'll see you next time. Love you guys. I almost forgot. You guys, don't forget to like, hit that like button down there. Subscribe, comment. Oh, those are great for the videos. We want to get this out to as many people as we can. Um, you can like, subscribe, share, or all of the above. 
But if you don't do any, I still love you and I'm so happy you're here. See you next time.